Hey guys, see my signing in and today is in fact my birthday, I've turned 20 and as this is the occasion I thought it would be suitable to make a FIFA 16 wishlist video. Now as most of you know FIFA 15 wasn't the best of games, there's a few things EA went wrong with, a few things they needed to fix and hopefully within this video I'll go through most of them and they can hopefully fix them in FIFA 16 and make it a better game. Nevertheless if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated and let me know down in the comment section which one of these things you would most like to see within FIFA 16 yourself. Okay starting off with the first out of the 10 things I have is no more price ranges. Within FIFA 16 I do not want to see price ranges if they could take that away that would be grind. Within FIFA 15 it caused problems such as extinct players. It was almost impossible to get some of the team of the season cards that were released even some of the pink cards and it's really annoying before price ranges ranges we never had problems like that so hopefully in FIFA 16 they can take that away and that would literally be amazing also on the same note if they can't remove price ranges fully they should take away the minimum price because for some people it can be almost impossible to sell players so if they're keeping a max price there it's best for them to take away a minimum price because that also helps improve the FIFA Ultimate Team experience next I would like to see them bringing some constant packs so not like packs that will get released on certain occasions but packs that are always there like constant 50k packs like we have constant 7.5k packs i think this will be good because it will allow more people to get better players and again this will help improve the fifa on team experience link to this as well it'll be cool if they can implement happy hour packs as they did in the previous fifas as once again it will just make playing FIFA 16 a hell of a lot better than FIFA 15. Moving on with auto player updates, I would like to see this in FIFA 16 as well and basically what this is, is whenever new players are released or players are transferred, it should be auto updated. So let's say you have United Falcao and it's transferred to Chelsea, it should automatically be updated to Chelsea Falcao so you don't have to buy another one and same with the ratings, if player ratings increase they should be auto updated so the card you have is up to date with a new rating. This auto player updates I'm talking about is something they did in the FIFA World Cup mode as soon as a player's rating increased, they actually put it automatically on the World Cup mode, which is why I think they should implement it into normal Ultimate Team on FIFA 16. The main reason I think they should put this into the game is because it will save people having to buy loads of cards of the same player, which will actually be unnecessary. The only exception I'll give for this though will be informed players. Obviously, with informed players or team of the season players or any special cards, the player doesn't have to be auto updated as the special cards are there for a reason. Okay, next I put accumulators i didn't know what else to call it but when i explain it hopefully you know what i'm talking about now by this i mean when you open packs after the more you open you get a higher chance of getting good players this will be really good to see in fifa 16 because it would mean let's say if someone spends 500k to a million coins the chances of them getting loads of good players will be increased and for me as well as most of you guys that play the game this will be a nice feature in the game as it will make playing the game much much better also it will save most people a lot of money because they won't be wasting coins on getting random really bad players after let's say three hours of opening packs next I have one of the most important ones and that is the servers I would really really love it if in FIFA 16 they can improve the servers like right now servers are really bad you could be in a game winning 2, 3 nil, 4 nil, and the game just lags out and you get a loss that is literally the worst feeling in the game it's happened to me so many times and it's a problem that's been there for previous FIFAs if they can finally get a hand of it and fix it for FIFA 16 that would be amazing and I'm pretty sure most of you would agree with this one moving on generations would be a good feature to see on fifa 16 on their web app you could actually look at your past teams but you know you couldn't really use them so in fifa 16 if they implement a feature that allows you to look at your past teams or even play with your past teams or past players that would be insane i mentioned this in one of my past fifa 16 videos and in that video i mentioned using players like wellington as op as he was back in the day now would be insane especially partnering him up 
with players like Dumbia, Ibarwa, etc. That would be insane. So generations is something I think they should really consider on putting back into the game. On to something a little bit different now. I would like to see a logo creator. Now this is like the emblem creator. If you play Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 that allowed you to play with different shapes, letters, colors to make your own images. It would be insane to see a logo creator which will allow people to create their own logos on Ultimate Team. And yeah, it would just be pretty fun to use. I understand there may come some issues with this because people might be creating logos of certain images if you know what I mean and yeah that might be a problem but apart from that this is something I think they should consider on putting into FIFA 16. The eighth thing I have on the list here is cheap FIFA points. Now if EA want people to stop buying coins from coin sites this is something they should put in the game and this is something they should implement and this will allow them to make more money because everyone knows EA likes making money. As well as this for the average user it will improve the whole gaming experience on Ultimate Team and yeah it will just make the game a lot more easier to play. Next is New Legends. I know the previous FIFAs they have put in some New Legends but by this I mean Legends that were insanely good like the Ronaldo's, the Zinedine Zidane's, the Maradona's. We've not seen them in FIFA yet and it would be great for them to be implemented into FIFA 16 as I think it'll make the game a little bit more interesting and it'll be good to see how they compare to players like Pele. And last but not least is custom formations on Ultimate Team. This will be an insane feature on Ultimate Team and it'll mean that you can be more creative with your teams, you can create formations other people have never even used before. It would just be overall good to see in the game and as they have implemented it on head to head on tactics I think it should be easy for them to throw into ultimate team and yes it would be a nice fun feature to have. Nevertheless that is it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it once again drop a like if you enjoyed and let me know in the comment section which one of these things you'd most want to see in FIFA 16. That's about it from me and for today this is Team Max signing out thanks for watching guys and see you. <laughs> This is the end of the video, hi. Huh? Yeah. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. What? Wanna see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it. <laughs> this is T Max signing out.